Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you know by now, my name's Jason and I'm your watch guy today. Before I introduce the watch that I'm reviewing today, I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's subscribed lately. We're pretty much at 100 subscribers and I know that's not a big deal for a lot of people, but for me, I didn't expect to get anywhere near it. This was just a little bit of fun whilst I was off work in this lockdown. Uh, I'm soon to go back to work, but I'm definitely going to continue this because it's become my favourite new hobby. So thank you to everyone that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button. I have a lot of content just like this. I promise it'll be worth your while. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the watch that I'm going to review today. This watch was so well received when I unboxed it, and I didn't expect it because I actually hadn't heard of the brand before. It is this little Guan Xin. Now, I couldn't find much that I didn't like about this when I unboxed it. It's an automatic watch with a 24 hour moon sun complication, and it also has an open heart dial, which I thought was so impressive considering that I paid £15 for it or just under. Now, if you're interested in this watch by the end of the video, I've left an affiliate link down in the description that costs you no extra. All it does is tell AliExpress that I've sent you their way and gives me a little bit of money in return, which I go and spend on watches. So it's a lovely little circle. So without further ado, let's get into this watch review and see if I could find anything wrong with this £15 automatic watch from Guanxin. So this is my full review of the Guanxin. Now I'd like to start by mentioning a mistake that I made in the last video, the unboxing. This here is not a moon phase dial, it's a 24 hour moon and sun display. So I apologise for that, still a really nice feature. So straight into the dimensions, this is a 42mm diameter watch. Now that's probably on the bigger end of what I'd wear in a dress watch. Uh, I think any bigger and it's a bit of a weird looking dress watch. This does have quite a bit of presence on wrist, to be fair. It is 13 and a half millimeters thick. The lugs are 20 millimeters wide and look to look, it is 49 millimeters. So as I say, that is probably on the bigger size of what I'd wear. So this only has a 30 meter water resistance. Now that's splash proof at best in my opinion, but I wouldn't really count that as something that I'd hold against this watch because it is primarily a dress watch. And I don't imagine you're planning on getting your dress watch so wet. So let's move into the casing. Now this is a stainless steel case. That's what they've listed it as on their advert. Uh, best that I can tell, they're telling the truth. It does feel stainless steel. It may be a alloy, but I wouldn't be able to tell myself. It doesn't feel as cheap as the Fingeen did. It is a full high polish finish throughout the watch, as you can see, including the crown here. This is a small pull and push crown. It's protected by these little crown guards either side, which adds a little bit to the casing of this watch. A little bit of presence to it. Now it is a clip-on display case back. That's probably where its 30 meter water resistance comes from. It has no real protection. This is a really nice display case and you've got to give them props for signing that rotor. I wouldn't have expected that in a watch that cost me less than £15. It has stainless steel here, Guanxin Watch Co, water resistance 3 bar and some of that I guess identifies the model number but I haven't seen anything that relays that online. I'll just bring you in closer so you can see that blue handset. Now it is blued to look like it's been heat treated but I suspect that it is just a coating or a paint. The 24 hour subdial over here also has a nice blue heat treated looking hand, which flows with the rest of the design of the watch. I really do like that blue handset. It's a nice added feature. It's a nice piece of quality in the watch. Now as we move past that handset and into the dial, it is a 3D printed dial as best I can tell. Now that's a really nice piece of quality at a watch at this price. I didn't expect something like that. It is also indented around the subdial too. And obviously this 24 hour moon and sundial is set behind this dial. I think that's a really nice added piece of quality here and it's not something that I really expected at 15 pounds. So props to Guan Xin. As I mentioned, we have two subdials here. Now this is the 24 hour dial. 
and this here is a moon and sun 24 hour dial don't quite know why they need two 24 hour dials but i think they look quite nice we have a really nicely framed open heart display here so you can see the balance wheel working away i really like the gold bridge across this it gives a really nice effect to the watch i've never really been one for open heart watches but i think this one's done quite nicely i really do enjoy the large arabic numerals around the face I like big legible displays like this and I think Guanxin have hit this one on the head. We obviously have Arabic at the hour markers but beyond that we have minute markers around the edge of the dial at two minute intervals. That again is a really nice feature to this watch and as you can see there is a chapter ring with the minute track around the edge. That gives this watch a really nice chasmed effect I think. Another thing to add is that I think this chapter ring is actually very well aligned. Usually on a watch of this price that's one of the things that they miss out. Something that they pass by in quality control but they've done well here. Now moving around the watch we have this brown leather strap or at least it says it's leather. It feels really plastic to me so I don't know what type of quality leather this is. They have actually signed the inside of the leather strap which again is nice. I didn't expect that from Guanxin. I mean, we are talking about a £15 watch here. As well as that, we have a signed buckle with the Guanxin logo. Again, little touches like that are what really surprised me on watches of this price. I'm shocked that they can fit that into the budget. Now, this strap is really cheap feeling. The buckle isn't as bad, but I never really like to bring these watches down due to the strap because it's a very easy fix. It's something that you can swap off and pop on something that you like more. So... I'm not shocked that it's low quality, but it's not that much of a downfall for me. Now, in my unboxing video, I said that I couldn't find any flaws with this watch. I kept it on wrist for a couple of days, maybe a week, and barely tried to test the watch as much as I could. I even wore it to the golf range a couple of times. Now, I did find two downfalls, and one of them, I don't know if I can really hold against Guan Xin that much. So first of all, I didn't find out what movement this is. I know it's cheap and I know it's Chinese, but I asked on the watch forums and no one really had an answer for me. I think the open heart display threw them off quite a bit. So if you could tell me what it is, that would be much appreciated. The flaw that I found is that this rotor, whilst it spins around, is actually really quite loud. What I'll do is I'll just spin it next to my microphone and see if you can pick it up. Hopefully you got some of that, but it is quite a loud rotor. Now my second moan does also have something to do with that movement. I don't really like to put into my reviews the timekeeping of these watches. I like to look to what the manufacturer says about the movement and give that instead because the timekeeping is really quite subjective. It can be different from piece to piece. I could have a really good one and you could have a really bad one or vice versa. So I don't like to add that in but it was something that I had to test because I was falling short of things to tell you about this watch that were negative. So here are my findings. This is within the app that I used. And as you can see, the Guan Chin is losing around about 20 to 30 seconds a day. Now that isn't really a big deal for me personally. I mean, 30 seconds in a watch that cost me £15. And I did wear it in some difficult type of conditions. I did try taking it off of a night and putting it back on in the morning. So that could have something to do with it. But it is a downfall to the watch. So I do feel like I have to add that in. In conclusion, is this watch worth £15? I think it's worth a lot more. I think if you put a fashion brand's name on this, you'd be looking at £100 plus. Pounds. I know that's not saying much because a lot of fashion brands will rip you off as much as they can. But that's just the feeling that I'm getting. I think that they've well overbuilt on this watch and it's really nice to see that you can get this type of quality at such a cheap price range. £15 is nothing to a lot of people in the watch world and I think Guan Xin have really knocked this out of the park. So guys, that has been my review of the £15 Guan Xin. I would love to tell you what the model number or what they call this watch, but I just couldn't find anything. I have left a link in the description for this watch where you can buy it. It is an affiliate link, so if you do use it, I get a little bit of a kickback and it's much appreciated, but it doesn't add anything to your bill. So if you could use that, that'd be great. Thank you very much.
I think it's a brilliant little watch for £15. I mean, what more can you really ask for at that price range? It's absolutely knocked that thing out of the park, I'm telling you. I am very pleasantly surprised. It's actually made me want to go and buy a few more of these guanchins to see if I spend a little bit extra, I guess, something astronomically better because they do have one around the 50 pounds mark and it'd be very interesting to see that if you want to see that let me know and i'll see if i can get one in if you're new here please hit that subscribe button i'm pretty much at 100 now so thank you very much but let's keep on going i bring out content like this pretty much every two or three days so you know i'll keep you entertained thank you for watching guys my name's jason and i have been your watch guy today i'll see you in the next one